Now, Mombasa-based preacher Ezekiel Odero has moved to court to fight back following the deregistration of his New Life Church, urging the office of the Attorney General to suspend the ban on his mega church. Through his lawyers, the pastor has instead accused the registrar of acting in bad faith in a bid to frustrate his popular Messiah Buana event that was set to run for two weeks. Ezekiel's Kilifi-based center is among five other churches whose reg registrations have been revoked in a move to crack down on religious institutions. Other churches deregistered include Helicopter of Christ, Theophilus, King's Outreach and Good News International Ministries. The church was closed and everybody was chased from that place. We battled that case again and the court opened the church and the church has been going on round. Pastor Ezekiel's church was registered in 2012 and the returns are supposed to be annual. Pastor Ezekiel has written and will give the media and the whole country more than 20 letters demanding for the file to be available. Those letters have been received by the registrar of societies. No action has ever been done. Pastor Ezekiel, out of frustration, instructed us to move to the Judicial Review Division of the High Court to sue the Registrar of Societies. The Registrar of Societies, without prejudice, engaged us and said there is no need to proceed with the Judicial Review matter when the file is available. Come, after you have withdrawn this matter, come tomorrow, you will get the file at the registry. That file has never been found. The registrar has always been giving excuses that she's busy involved in the presidential task force on religious extremism, and that is why she's not available. Article 32 is very, very clear on issues of religion. Government has no business interfering with the issues of religion. If government is after Pastor Mackenzie, let it be very clear that Pastor Ezekiel Odero is not at all the same person called Pastor Mackenzie.